Power Art of Sports are here with the one and only Callum Walsh, man, uh, number five coming up, right? Yeah. yeah. What, uh, I know last time you, you hurt your hand. What did you learn about yourself having hurt your hand and still you still throw it, still, you know, like used it, still kind of bit down and, and finished the fight? What did you learn about yourself? That's something I've been just dealing with my whole career. Um, I broke my hand before, qualified for World Championships back home and as an amateur, I couldn't fight because I had a broken hand after I qualified with a broken hand. So, um, yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, you're in the ring. Break your hand. What are you supposed to do? You you have to fight. You know what I mean. So yeah, I just got through it. Yeah, just fuck that hand, I guess. And right? I, yeah. I, uh, and I also learned that uh, I don't like going the distance. So <laughs> definitely bringing that to this fight. What is? Was it the same hand that you broke in yeah, the yeah. amateurs as well? Yeah. yeah. Is uh, but how's it feel now? Yeah, honestly? it feels 100 percent. No, yeah, definitely uh, got some good treatment on it. Uh, rested it for the first time in my life for a couple of weeks, and mm. it's back to 100 percent. What What is it that you? Being back in the ring after an injury like that, kind of your first fight back, are you asking your, are you, are you kind of answering questions in the ring as far as throwing it, landing it, things like that? Is is that just kind of a process you go through in the I fight? I think my whole career I've always known that the hand has been sore, but I never gave it any time to heal. Even through my whole amateur career, I've always just fought with it, fought with it, and now that I gave it time to rest, got doctors to look at it, got good medical advice, and I think for the first time in my career, it's back to 100%, and I'm looking forward to using it. It's great, great, man, great to hear. So tomorrow night, you, you said you don't like going the distance. Is that, uh, is that kind of one of the things you want to make sure you, you get done is, is to, to get home early tomorrow? Yeah, definitely. It's a, it's an eight-round fight, my first eight-round fight, and um, last time, six rounds, I felt fine going six rounds. Like, my, my conditioning is there, but um, you know, I just didn't like going the distance. I like getting them knockouts, I like bringing the, the excitement to the fans. So I think tomorrow night, I know my condition is there. I'm going to put the pressure on him and uh, get that finish. Freddie's uh, a very offensive guy as well, kind of. I'm sure he he likes hearing that you that you want to go for the knockout. Is that is that what you kind of instruct him? Hey man, like train me so that yeah, we, yeah. we get the finish. Yeah, that's how we always train. You know, Freddie, like his style is just stand down and fight. And even in sparring in the wildcat, I've been in just standing down and fighting for this whole camp. So I think once I put the pressure on him, uh, I don't think he's gonna be able to take the punches. You, you got any uh, uh, names for sparring partners that you've been working with uh, this this last uh, camp? This camp, I've been sparring with the come in. Uh, uh, Bochuk, sorry, Bochuk. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So that's another fighter that's going to just be there. So mm -hmm. if they stand on a fight with him, we're doing eight, ten rounds with him. Um, I've been sparring everybody. For everybody that comes through the Wildcat, I spar with, so I get the best sparring, yeah. What about uh, uh, Tony Ferguson, man? I see he's uh, in your team again. You know, he's a, yeah. he's a, a good veteran presence in the fight game. Talk, talk to me about uh, your, your two relationship. Yeah, training with Tony is unbelievable. He's uh, he's one of my good friends, and we trained together for two years. And uh, yeah, just he's he he's been at the top level. You know, he he's there and just being able to see what he's doing, being, having him kind of guide me is very helpful. And just his uh, he, he's known as one of the toughest guys in the UFC. His conditioning. Is, it's, it's that's what he's known for and just having that as well and so it's crazy yeah, it's an unbelievable experience featuring with tony you got a great team behind you man yeah. uh callum tell the fans uh where they can see your fight and, and follow you as well yeah yeah tomorrow night live on ufc fight pass taking on my toughest opponent 13 and 1 versus 4 and 0 um gonna be a good show you live on ufc fight pass and you can follow me instagram king callum watch and do it early because you're yeah, trying yeah. to get home early yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah i'll make sure you're not up too late thank you Callum. appreciate it